it's Joshy Blogs. I'm back. Um, last video I did mostly without speaking. It was actually because my friend Ralph was there. I was a little bit embarrassed playing the game in front of him just because it's like the game's so weirdly repetitive. I feel like, uh, I don't know. It's hard to explain the hold that it has on me. What is going on? Something X to start, but it's not starting, is it? Did I just break the game? Is it, is it crashed? Maybe it's crashed. Well, I'll just talk for a bit, see how it goes. Am I not seeing something on the screen? All right. Well, that button is working. <coughs> I should switch controllers anyway, actually. Um, be right back. I have a feeling I'm going to have to stop this, but this should be... um. Uh, I think I can at least salvage the video of just this title screen and the game never starting. So, I guess that's something. I just switched controllers and it's still not starting. Not that I expected it to start because of the controller switch. I just switched the controllers because the batteries were low. Ah, it started! I don't think it was because of the controller switch, but maybe it was. That was weird. I think it was just a little a little glitch where like for a moment it was not like not detecting the controller or something. That really uh surprised me. I think some new things are downloading. Possibly, or if not, they've at least uh, recently downloaded, and I think that might be uh, that might be the problem. Maybe something that's it's like a space issue on the system. I don't know. I don't understand how any of this stuff works. Uh, yep. Historical accuracy. As you explore the world. You will discover historical locations. To learn more about them, go to the main menu and press L2 to change your filter and gain some knowledge. What? That's interesting. Go to the map menu and press L2 to change your filter and gain some knowledge. Really? Oh. Well, that's, that's interesting. I'm definitely interested in playing with that. Okay, so I got to go to the map menu, and then press L2 to change my filter, and gain knowledge. Okay. Doesn't really explain what it will do, but but I'm curious now. I bet it's gonna be disappointing. So let's not get our hopes up too much. Cause I missed the I missed the wikis that they had in the previous games, and so like those feel those feel terribly absent in this game and the previous game origins I was, I was half wondering if they were about to tell me that I could that I could set the options to have the wiki back which of course you probably cannot but what is this map filter that will fill us with knowledge that's 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 curious it sounds sounds interesting is it something probably nothing right Um, yeah, I'm throwing. I was gonna read some more things, but I'm, now I'm just I'm just totally focused on this map filter change. All right. Well, here's the map. Okay, prepare to be disappointed. I'm about to hit L2. Oh, I see. So historical locations. That's probably it, right? The historical locations filter. Pillar of Dionysus. Oh, you can learn about it. Oh, cool. So the Pillar of Dionysus. Hey, yeah, it's this is this is a little bit disappointing compared to what I was hoping for, but it's it's not. And look, this 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 fort that I just that I just killed a bunch of people in has some kind of uh, historical significance. Mount Fort Geronea. 
uh, Mount Geronea or Crane Hill was named for the flock of cranes that showed Megaros the way to its peak to escape a flood. Yeah, it's not quite it's not quite as good as yeah. I feel like I was correct about telling you to to um, lower your expectations. It was not it was not all that. But um whatever. Um yeah, I think we're done here. But that's something. And so I can always learn something about about the locations. Uh, the historical locations through the map. Good to know. It's it's better than nothing, but it's it's way less good than it used to be. Although I will say that in the old games they probably should have had that and didn't. But what they actually had was something that was sort of more or less better, except they think it wasn't connected to the map. But like when you found a new location, there'd be like a a, a a bigger a bigger amount of information not not by a lot but they would sometimes have like a whole page sometimes it can be like six paragraphs maybe even maybe even as many as ten paragraphs sometimes of information probably not ten I think always probably always like less than ten probably the most would be like seven or eight but basically you know you have like a whole little Wikipedia article well maybe a little smaller than that but yeah like you have a little a little little encyclopedia entry on on whatever place you find and um, unfortunately I don't think you could do it from the map so you couldn't go to the map and do this oops uh, what am I doing okay you couldn't go to the map and then just look at a place and be like oh what do I know what can I learn about the guy so that's a good addition it's just too bad that the, it's in place of something that was arguably even better I'm hitting the wrong button. If you're wondering what what am I doing, it's because I'm hitting the wrong button. I don't know why I'm hitting that button. It's just I have an instinctive reaction to hit R3, and it keeps it keeps knocking me out of the it keeps m making the map do that weird thing it was doing. I discovered I don't know if you just noticed me discovering this in the previous video. I was telling Raf about this. I discovered that I can knock out a bandit and then kill him with a sword. <laughs> after knocking him out and then if I do that um, it just makes it a lot easier to, to kill him kill, kill him with the swords or the spears if you just like knock him out and just stab him first pretty cool in fact I think I better take this ability that will help me with my quest mastery of paralyzing arrows yeah so oh look at that how it shows the fire arrow even though even though the, the yeah this is kinda lazy by the way they, it's too bad that they couldn't show the actual ability that I'm getting. So they're showing the fire arrow instead of paralyzing. And then it doesn't change. It doesn't change with levels. So for instance, it's not actually showing the new upgrade here. You know, it's just showing it's just showing the, the basic ability. Which which feels like a missed opportunity. But anyway, with this knockout arrow I can knock people out from the range then come up and kill them with the sword or the spear and that'll that'll make my life a lot easier uh, uh excuse me that was awkward alright level 11 uh blue weapon that's pretty good. Hunter damage and overpower. Unfortunately, uh, overpower is not something I can use right now, but it's still still good. I don't know if you noticed, but I changed the appearance of my character um, a couple of times. I'm gonna change again now. <laughs> it's funny, funny seeing Cassandra wearing these things. I don't know if it's really worth changing the braces, but it's kind of just kind of, kind of fun to do anyway.
maybe I'll just leave this. I'll just change the things that... I don't know, I'll change this too. Alright. Where to now? I'll probably change her back to normal at some point. I kind of like just wearing the, um, just wearing the stuff that you find. Well, this is, I gotta say, this helmet is cool. I'm digging the helmet. Where to now? Hoping to find bandits, but I'm also hoping to wander around a bit and, uh, oh, did I forget to do this one? Right, I remember, I remember jumping into the water and getting the thing, but then I forgot that I would have to then go back and return the mission. Is it worth it? I guess it's worth it. I need the money, and it's easy. I have limited time to do it. Let's just, uh... While we're about to do a little traveling, let's bring it to some daylight. There we go. That's better. Bella. Bella. I feel like the horse isn't going as fast as I, I expect it to. I wonder if there might be a problem with my controller. This is going fast enough though that it's fast enough to be functional at least. Have you done what I asked? I think so. You served Sparta well. This happy to come. my phone. Let's go call it here. <laughs> 